Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and over at the computer is Dawn. Hello. I'm happily sitting here with my cup of hot chocolate. Yes, I know it's August. I, I just felt like a hot chocolate. So today we are going to be stitching out a really cute hockey mug rug. So everyone's like, what is Sue going to do with it? This thread is your hint. So here is the fabric other than the batting. So this is the background fabric and this is going to be the hockey puck. Hopefully I can fussy cut it to fit this flower. That's the Ooh, goal. Designer hockey puck. Well, yeah, girls play hockey too. True. I'm doing the opposite. Everyone wants us to create manly mug rugs, and I'm making your manly mug rug hey. into a girly mug rug. Well, deal with it. Just deal with it. So, right now I've got black, and I'm going to be using mostly black because I want the skater to the hockey player, I guess, to show up on this fabric. So I might be playing a little bit of fabric chicken. We're going to have to see. I'm using scraps, as you can see. Lovely uh, AccuQuilt shapes cut out here. Oh, the other thing is we're down one camera. Um, we're not quite ready to set it up yet, um, so we won't have the wide view. We moved some stuff around so my sewing machine will be easier to record and then I can do some how do you sew blocks together designs or finish a quilt or stitch in the ditch that sort of thing so just so you know just for today all right so let's go over to my embroidery machine which hopefully everyone knows is a brother luminaire 2 also known as Captain Jack so hey Captain Jack he yeah. says hello who says hello? Captain Jack. Captain Jack? Which one? Both. <laughs> both. Well, whatever works. I have um, icons for both of them. So, okay, we're ready to get started here. I have a nice chair that I'm sitting on instead of the stool. So I'm really comfy for the first time in, like, ever, which is nice. So, okay, the first is the placement stitch for our batting. So, 7511 needle, I very rarely change, and I will let you guys know if I ever do for any reason. Bjorn says hi. Um, water soluble stabilizer, because this is a satin finish mug rug, and it's a, in the basic shape of a hockey rink so I kind of like that and no I didn't wind any black bobbins however I did iron so I mean that's about all you can expect of me today right Don yay yay all right warm and natural batting which is really nice hi mom hi mom hi mom hockey did you play hockey Don no, I did. I did not. I played <coughs> ringette. I played hockey. I went to a hockey school, a very elite one in Manitoba, and I played boys hockey because there really wasn't enough girls hockey and I wanted to play. Number one goalie over here. Woo, woo, woo. But yeah, fun. Super fun. So, hopefully my fabric's big enough. I'm, I'm hoping. Now, I'm going to trim this off at the end. Uh, you can do that if you want with the satin stitch finish. Oh, yeah. Lots of room. Lots of room. When I put the back on before the satin stitches happen. If I got it up top, too. Hey, not bad. I... For some reason, didn't think I would have enough. And so oh. these girls' hockey mug rug you're making, Sue. So. Yeah, why? I don't have to do anything normally, Don. <laughs> you should know that by now. I can. Well, you can change any of the designs and make, you know, Certainly. as long as it's not too girly, but. 
you can make it into a manly design just by the fabric that you pick. So next up is going to be our hockey puck applique. We like to get the applique out of the way. Say that five times fast um, before we start stitching. Now this one's a really quick stitch and I like that. I also think the hockey puck is great to put a cookie. I'm just saying. You, oh, yeah. you could put a cookie there. It's just about the right size hockey puck cookie. As long as your embroidery isn't a hockey puck, we're good to go. I'm going to try. I'm going to give it just a little try. If I pre-cut it on my scan and cut, I'd be able to get it exactly right, but I didn't have time for that. This was also supposed to be a recorded video, but I didn't record it, so live it is. <laughs> live it is. Perfect Yep, that's exactly how I wanted it. Now, we're going to do a little trimming as soon as he does his dance. So let's go back to the desk. Done. And my iPad is completely in the way. Oh, hello, hot chocolate. There. Am I on properly? Yep. All right. It's kind of squishy. We still got a lot of stuff to sort out, but... I don't have to worry about how I'm using my duckbill scissors, but I still love that they're so sharp. I'm just saying, I just love it. it makes me happy. Isabel said, so you stunned me. I didn't think about bothering. <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to be up on things. And we're using five by seven hoop. Yeah, it's a five by seven. Which is a great size for a mug rug. I'm going to start working on some placemats and different things like that, Ooh, too. That would be cool. Yeah. I think it would be fun. All right. Let's go back to the machine. I did a great job on my placement. I just wanted that color to show through. So next, we're going to do the covering satin stitches. So if you didn't cut it out very well, it's now going to be hidden, <laughs> which I love. Arlen's favorite stitch, the satin stitch. Covers up all the boo-boos, she says. It's cute. I could have maybe put the flower the other way so it's facing up, but... Meh, what are you going to do? Close enough, I say. So, super fast stitch mug rug. If you have hockey fans, uh, this is a great mug rug for that. And uh, you can use the licensed fabric. You could fussy cut the symbol or their team symbol or simply use the team colors on the mug rug and uh, people will love that if they're into hockey which as a Canadian we need to be although I don't watch it it's kind of I guess I used to watch Gretzky a little bit because he was great but I don't really watch too much of it but I did play when I was a kid and both my kids played Beatrice actually played all through high school but Isabel, thank you very much. What was that flashing up? I'm really behind. Oh, all right. To Isabel, are there any questions? I'm just kind of look who. Pixie, woohoo! Finally made it to another one. All right. For a little while, we're going to be doing recorded ones or premieres. So premiere is a recorded one that I can chat with you. But I think we're going to try a couple of different things. I'm always trying new things. So some more recorded ones. Um, and then maybe making a, a chat room right after the video. If anyone has any questions or just wants to get together. And that way I can see the chat too. So, something like that. We're just trying different things. And uh, the other thing is, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, 
but the Anita Good Design August flip through is incredible. So I really want to do the circle ones with the morning, noon, and night. And those are going to take forever to stitch. So um, I think that would be great. So does not look perfect? I like it. I love really that. Good. Now we're going to do our hockey player. You could you could have made one with a ponytail out the back or a braid. Yeah, for a girl. Not that it matters. And then Don, when he digitizes like this, it's all freehand. He uses his Centic and literally just draws on the stitches and everything uh, falls into place and it looks really good. So... To be honest, I just use my bobbins until they're empty. Oh, that's why I didn't scroll. Jeff Chandler. Hey, Jeff Chandler. We haven't seen you for a while, man. Hope everything's uh, going well. Awesome. When I was a very young girl, I played roller hockey at a roller skating rink. This was after we were done our figure skating classes. Yeah. That's awesome, Kathy. I actually never had my feet in figure skates. I went straight to hockey skates, for sure. I, I never had them, I never tried them on, I just wanted boys skates. And they kind of fit my feet a little bit better. The best skates were the specific goalie skates, I love those. With a flat blade, life was so much easier. Look at the detail. You did a good job on this, Don. I like the detail. I like, these are my favorite ones to do. Like, yeah, Don loves the freehand. Uh, it's awesome. Hi, Susan Weehy. Yes. <laughs> uh, Joy says, August, I need a good design is amazing and my machine is in the shop. I'm sorry. They'll still be there. They'll still be there. Um, it's awesome. Jeff Chandler says it's going great. Awesome. We're happy to have you back, Jeff. We've missed you. Um, awesome. Did anybody else get the email that Anita Good Design has for large releases for 75% off for the whole month of August? Um, yeah, I saw it on their webpage on Facebook as well. So if you want some of the big, big designs, that they have quite a few. I looked, but I didn't buy anything, of course. I shouldn't have to. I gotta look in my stash first. We should start doing some giveaways, Don. Yeah, we should. We haven't done that for a long time. Because we still have... How many do you think we have? 200? Yeah, probably. Two, probably 200 and need a good design collections to give away. So we should start doing that. I like how the stitching for the hockey player, Don, is like dark enough, thick enough, I guess, yeah. so you can see it. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's no jump stitches and there's no trims, there's no nothing. It's perfect that way. Ronog, hello Ronog, thank you very much. I need the blocks and borders set from... I need a good design. Yeah, for sure, you do. I, I haven't decided which one I like the best, but when I'm done the lavender brown quilt, I'll show you guys that, and then maybe I'll do a Christmas one after that, too. Um, skating is not for me. I fell on my elbow, and it took over a year to heal. Yeah, that can happen. I've had more than one concussion, but I always wore my helmet too, don't ask, always. So look at this, we're almost done. The next step is we're gonna put on the back fabric and I'm just gonna very, very carefully, very gently slide it over. It doesn't really wanna go today because I don't really wanna tape it 
and I can't tell. Oh, yeah, I should say, if you trim everything, then you can <laughs> tell, but I Jesus. didn't. I know, I know, right? It's just me. I don't know why I don't trim it. So now we're going to stitch that down. Notice I put the fabric face down, so that will make uh, the back of it pretty, too. You don't want to see the wrong size of the side of the fabric. So awesome. And before I take this to the desk to trim everything, the first thing I do is check the back because every once in a while I'll get a fold or something in it and it doesn't work and it's easier to do before you trim everything. So let's flip. Yep, perfect. All right, let's go back to the desk, Don. It's always a good idea to check, you know. All right, my chair, giving me a hard time. iPad uh, in the way. Cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah. But look how well the skater stands out. It shows up very nice. Yeah, I really like it. So, okay, I am going to use my duckbill scissors properly. So the duckbill side against the kind of delicate water-soluble stabilizer because I don't want it to catch or pull and you move everything. Don't worry about the back yet. Move everything around so you can get a good cut and always, always, always take your time cutting fabric because it'll make everything better. Your appliques will be better. I'm not always spot on, but I, I'm usually kind of not trying to rush, but I am rushing. I'm not going to spend too, too long trimming. I like to hold the fabric, put a small amount of tension in it. I find I get a much cleaner cut when I do that, especially cutting through two pieces. So I've got the fabric and the batting, and that's pretty nice not the usual hack job that i usually do but hey all right now you got to be even more gentle on the back here so again i'm going to do the same thing and i don't want to do that okay a little bit hacky there as long as you don't cut through the stitching Get as close as you can without cutting through. You guys have seen me do that a couple times. Um, that will be, everything will be okay. It will. So if you have a black bobbin wound, which I do not, now would be the time to change it. And so the back looks just as pretty as the front. Now, that is a little bit too much to leave. Hello. Hack, hack, hack. That's okay. It happens. Why are you hacking? I, I just sometimes do. <laughs> I'll clean, Judy Quilt. I'll clean. <laughs> Look at that. That's cute. All right. Back to my embroidery machine. My yeah, brother... Like Luminaire 2, and we're going to pretend <laughs> that I changed my bobbin to match. I like your girly hockey mug wrap. Yeah, why not? It's kind of awesome. Yeah, it's better than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, better. I like it too. I competed in figure roller skating. This must be why I need both knees replaced. That could be. I, I did roller skate. I loved that uh, as a kid in the 80s. I loved my roller skates. They were awesome with pom-poms and bright colored laces. And Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I did my thing. I was good. So, satin stitches. And I'm going to keep with the black because I think it's just going to make everything stand out. This is me brushes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I try. I need a little, like, makeup brush to dust. <laughs> to dust before I put it back on the machine. Or maybe uh, the Luminaire. It has everything, but it does not have a fan. That would be oh, cool. Yeah, I know. 
I'll put in a re request to brother. If it could, uh, oh, maybe pink satin stitches for me, Lynn says. I know, Lynn, I know. But I, I incorporated pink into a hockey mug rug. It actually looks way better than I thought it would. Sometimes a high contrast, like white and pink and black, just makes everything stand out. Now, if you're looking... Oh, I'm going to use my pokey guy. If you're looking here, see this little fuzz sticking out? That is because I didn't trim it close enough. And that's easy to fix after you wash everything out. You get good at it after a while, but you could just trim it down. If you don't want to trim it down, then you could use a black Sharpie here and no one will notice it. Pardon me? Or just in the first place. Well, thanks for that, Don. <laughs> My husband's uh, name of oh. the day is Captain Obvious. I can't, I can't say anything, but I always have that one. Every time I do an application, I always have that. I can't remember it. Well, you have to put it differently. When am I going to get my multi-needle back? I got room? That's yeah, why we moved. What, what do you mean what I got going on? We just started and created a, a storm yesterday. And we gotta finish it. Listen to him. He doesn't want to give me my machine back. Well, I'm taking Ragnar. And don't you take all the sticky names off of it either. I need the 8x8 hoop. So yes, there will be more videos on the multi-needle. I wasn't using it enough, and Don does production, so we kind of thought he would use it, but it, it, that's great. You also have four other machines to use. I have one. Thank you. I told ya, when I need it back, I'm gonna take it back. You said it was for keeps. No, I did not. I, I seem to recall you did. No. <laughs> no. Dawn is bad. It's looking fantastic. Thanks, Sarah. How do you wash your mug rugs? Well, initially, I will run it under uh, water, just because I want to get rid of the water-soluble stabilizer that's on the inside of it. And, uh, I mean, you can hand wash them. I know people who just throw them in the washing machine. I wouldn't do that, but just hand wash them. It's pretty good. Just um, be careful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if she's necessarily asking about the beginning. Yeah. Give it a good soak because you want all that out or else it'll be kind of stiff if any water's on it. See, I'm a little off on my trimming. I was rushing. So the other cool thing is, if you didn't notice, I did everything in one color. So my first color change is going to be that pretty orange that kind of matches the orange flower and the background flowers. Peach, maybe? I don't know. Shirley's asking if you've ever made one with a clear vinyl top. No, I haven't done that, but we could do. We could do that. It would be just um, extra. What I would do for that is stitch on the back and then rewind your machine and do that same stitch again with the vinyl and then trim everything. That way everything's nice and secure. I mean, you could do both at the same time, but I think it would be better to do one at a time. Look at that hockey player. Looking good, man. That's cool. I like it. I'm hoping the orange... For the decorative outside stitches, I'm hoping it just ties everything together. Fantastic. I'm hoping. See? Different, right? Yep. Black and silver for Christmas for Santa Mom. I didn't think she'd like it at all. I almost felt bad when I was stitching it out. Um, but she loved it, and it's on her table. And a pretty hockey mug rug. 
I bet you Beatrice will want this one. Yeah, those ones look great. I know. Maybe we'll revisit that one. Because that one's really cute. I think I used, like, plaid fabric for it. And anything with plaid fabric is, you know, awesome. For sure. So, almost done. See, that was a pretty quick stitch. That yeah, it's only 25 minutes so far. Yeah. For sure. Alright, so I made a few boo-boos, but... When you stitch it with black, it's it's easy to fix. That's why I have my little teeny weeny sharp, sharp, sharp scissors. If you're doing any craft sales, get out your, your licensed fabric and make up a bunch of these. You can do it pretty quick. I am thinking people will love these. Pull your thread out in the direction that it normally goes so you don't... Uh, mess up your tension and make sure you get rid of that piece of thread there we go oh yeah we don't have another camera for you to switch to no nope no. all right so what do you think this orange is gonna look like i think it's gonna be awesome yeah i think it will be too actually let's see i color matched it pretty well and I'm hoping that it stands out on the black really well so these are the decorative stitches if you want to do the decorative stitches in the same color just go ahead we like to do a color change so if you want to you know be more creative oh yeah oh yeah that makes it I love it what do you think Don? It stands out just enough on the white, too, but definitely on the black. Those are great colors together. Woohoo! I'm happy. See? It's amazing. A little bit of fabric. So cool. Yeah, Lynn, are you going to stitch one? It's a holiday here in Canada, by the way. Not that we took the day off, but... It's a civic holiday, isn't that? Isn't that it? I'm glad Lynn told us, because we didn't realize it was a holiday. We do that a lot. It happens. Civic holiday. It's an extra holiday from the government. Happy music, ready? I should turn it back up. Oh wow, that's quiet. Yeah, I turned it down. The beeping was annoying me when I was trying to figure out a whole bunch of stuff. To the desk. To the desk. Well, you know, I th says she's gonna make a few of them. Yeah, okay, you should. I think this is probably my most favorite mug rug. I really like it. I love the colors here. Are you gonna put it upstairs in your spot? Maybe. You know, maybe. The back, if I'd used black, it would be gorgeous, but I didn't. Black Bob and I mean. So I'm just going to take off the excess uh, water soluble stabilizer and then I'm going to wash it out. Now I donated a all my extra, if there's such a thing, extra mug rugs to the hospice where Sam works. She's a nurse there and including like the phone gnome cases and whatever. Uh, it made everybody happy. All the supervisors and everyone. Mm -hmm. So if you're testing ones and you don't like them, make a stash and send them to your hospice. Donate. Yeah, I did. It was a big handful. Sam said, do you have any mug rugs? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> For sure. So look at that. Isn't that cute? Goes to show you. You can do girly fabrics. I really like it. I really like the stitching. Um, I love the black, the contrast, and of course fussy placement because I think it's awesome. 
So, uh, yeah, you can get this design at omlembroidery.com. Every time you purchase something, it helps support the channel so we can do more and get more and test things out. And uh, we'll keep the videos coming. So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope you guys will make this in a whole bunch of different colors so I can see how it looks, see if it looks better than mine. Post your pictures. Yeah, post your pictures in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, everyone. Oh, it 